Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu holding firm amid growing calls for a ceasefire deal with Hamas. And back here in the city, several protesters were taken into custody during a rally that started in Union Square. It became a chaotic situation. Good day's Robert Moses. He's live at the United Nations with the very latest. Good morning, Robert. Dan and Rosanna, good morning to you. 101 hostages are believed to still be in Gaza. At least 35 of them, however, are believed to have been killed already. So the question is, can Israel achieve a victory that it is satisfied with while preserving the lives of all of the surviving hostages? We'll fight together, and together, God willing, we will win. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu remained resolute that Israeli forces must stay in the Philadelphia corridor at the southern edge of the Gaza Strip bordering Egypt because he calls the area a lifeline for Hamas. Hamas counters that an Israeli presence in the corridor all but dashes any hope for a ceasefire. <laughs> Outside Netanyahu's home in Jerusalem, police clashed with protesters who blamed the prime minister for the failure thus far to bring the remaining hostages home. At the White House, President Joe Biden issued a scathing one-word criticism. Do you think it's time for Prime Minister Netanyahu to do more on this issue? Do you think he's doing enough? No. As the general strike across Israel ended, mourners gathered for the funeral of Hirsch Goldberg Poland, one of the six hostages found dead over the weekend in a tunnel beneath the southern Gaza city of Rafa. His mother delivered a gut-wrenching eulogy. Finally, my sweet boy, finally, 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 finally to see. <laughs> I will love you and I will miss you every single day for the rest of my life. But you're right here. I know you're right here. I just have to teach myself how to feel you in a different way. And Hirsch, there's one last thing I need you to do for us. Now I need you to help us stay strong. And I need you to help us survive. Here in the city, thousands of pro-Palestinian protesters set off through the streets on a march that began in Union Square. They called for an end to the violence that has killed tens of thousands of civilians, including thousands of children. Some set off smoke bombs and lit flares. Pushing and shoving ensued. Police say they took four people, including a 16-year-old boy, into custody. Amid the tensions on both sides of this issue, President Biden promises that a proposal to free the remaining hostages is is near. We're very close to that. Hope springs eternal. Tomorrow, the UN Security Council will meet here to discuss the ongoing hostage situation. Israel's UN envoy says that the Security Council should not only condemn Hamas, but also call for the immediate release of the remaining hostages. We're live at the UN this morning. Rosanna and Dan, back to you. All right, Robert, we'll see if there's any progress this week. Thank you very much.